The reasons why men cheat versus women cheat are fascinating. I'm not saying that all uh, affairs are like this, but I will say, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go over a story in a second. And it seems like a lot of men cheat because of entitlement. <laughs> like, that's it. They're just selfish and entitled and they're like, I want what I want. I want what I want. I want a wife who does all this stuff and like almost dies giving birth to these people I don't want to raise. She's going to do that so I can have my legacy, which is a legacy of like trauma and abandonment and all kinds of stuff usually. And I want the free labor and the da 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 But I want this like other women too, right? And then when you hear about the reasons why a lot of women cheat, it's like, oh wow, well good for her. <laughs> Not always. Not always some women just destroy men uh, with their cheating. Okay, I'm not saying men cannot be hurt so much by women who cheat on them. I'm just saying I, I never give men the benefit of the doubt anymore, ever. And when they do something like that, and women, I, am, I, I, I take a beat before I'm like, Rawr! right, okay? So let's just go over this example really quick. I mean I don't hold women accountable. I absolutely do. If you think I don't, then you don't know my work. I'm saying there is uh women are not conditioned to think they're entitled to men's bodies and men's everything. That's just not how we are conditioned to think we owe men things. So the thinking behind affairs is oftentimes very different depending on how you were socialized and indoctrinated in a patriarch. Let's just use this one story. I can't I can't believe these people actually admitted it, but I can because they didn't use their last name. Let's hook it. By the way, if you haven't already set notifications so you can actually see my work, share it with your friends, comment, like, all that stuff, it really, really helps. I don't know, I, I, there's so much stuff in The Guardian where I'm like, what are y'all now? So look at this photo. This is the pho <laughs> this is a photo uh, in the section, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. I bring my whole self to the bedroom now, not my crotchless knickers. <laughs> Okay, based on this title, I'm like, what in, on earth is this about? It did not go the direction I was planning for it to go. So I think you pronounce this Barat, but it could also be Barrett? I'm not sure. Okay, look, he lays like this all the time. Uh, Barat, correct me if I'm wrong. I watched like three videos on how to pronounce the name. I hate getting names wrong, I try my best. But look at this, okay, he's 62. Uh-oh, don't trust you already. That screams uh, looking for a hospice wife right there. Anyway, uh, we try to have Schmage three times in four hours to make the most of the premiere in booking. Okay, where's this going? My relationship with Jessica started out as an affair. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like you. You're trash. Met online six years ago via a website for married people who want to cheat. I, uh, okay. Mm. I don't even need to say anything. That that's that's that statement stands alone as trash. Recently, we both left our spouses and brought our relationship out into the open, which has changed our schmeg's life. Please, 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 please don't hook up with married men. Uh, how the relationship starts is how it will end. I know, I know. People are like, you know what? Uh, she met here her bed, and she should lie in. That's always what I'm gonna assume too, but let's just listen. By the way, I skimmed over this and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm, some of this is like first reactions here because I did not read this carefully, wow. Affair Schmegs was always charged, but it was also a bit of a rush. Gotta get home. Gotta get home to your wife that you're lying to while she's raising your kids, I'm sure. Uh, we try to have Schmegs three, three times in four hours to make the most of our hotel booking. Okay, that says everything right there. How much you want to bet this man is not really uh, taking care of her? You know what I mean? Probably isn't enough time to eat that, okay? I don't like Barat, okay? I don't like you. I don't like you. Because that says to me uh, that if you had to do it four times, like she can like get off multiple times with, with one time doing the er, 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 right? Brown chicken, brown cow. But that means that he was like, oh, 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 oh. oh God. Okay, this is, I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm so off the rails already. <laughs> or we'd meet in a national trust car. Okay, I did not pay attention to this. In, in a national trust car park and have a five minute tryst in a quiet, okay. 
I don't know what that is. I'm not British. I don't know some of these references. Oh, look. Okay, well, he is tapping out. I swear, he is so like, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> I respect that. But uh, for anyone who's asked, some people are like, it looks like your dog doesn't like this. I promise you, when I put him out that door and try to record without him in here, he whines and cries and he's a mess, so he'd rather be in here ignoring me um, or listening to me play these dumb instruments than outside that door. Also, a five minute, tr like, I understand like a quickie is exciting and fun every once in a while, but how much you want to bet she's never, hold on, five minutes? You know, it, sometimes it takes a while to warm up the engine, brah, unless you're bringing a little toy with you. I go home with suspicious insect bites all over my... <laughs> I don't understand. That is a cop... Oh my God. I feel really dumb. I'm going to look up this one. Okay, I looked it up. I swear, this is why British people probably think uh, U.S. Americans are so dumb. Y'all use all these fancy words. That word means an area of woodland in which trees or shrubs are periodically cut back at ground level to simulate growth and produce firewood timber. Okay, that's where you're hooking up. Now, mind you, I have once hooked up in a lumber yard with a very nice Irish man when I was 21. But you're like in your 60s taking a woman to go out cheat on your wife and hooking up in a woodland with shrub. I don't understand. Why don't you just hook up in the car? The car? What? What is happening? I'm confused. I guess we're not going to find out about that because he moves on. These days, Jessica and I are discovering the joy of schmags in a proper bedroom. We do it leisurely on weekend mornings and then read each other's, read each other the papers. I'm in my 60s, but I've never had this kind of regular loving relationship schmags before. Okay. I feel so sorry for your wife who you cheated on for multiple reasons. What on earth were you doing with her? Okay, this right here, it's, it's like purity culture. Oh. Warning, men who buy into like purity culture crap are terrible lovers and they can't, they're like Madonna or corn. Madonna, horn. you can't be both. You can't be both. Uh, you're also not human. My ex-wife was uninterested in a physical life with me. I wonder why. You have schmanks four times in an hour and definitely aren't eating that, Kitty. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a physical life with you either, bro. Got married very young, and I'm sure she, and I'm not sure she ever really fancied me. I mean, maybe she hated herself and settled for you. But most likely, I don't care how young you are, you got Google. Well, maybe you didn't because you're like old, like, you know, they didn't have Google even when I was in high school. She had a long time to figure out how to eat this or, you know, make her go. <laughs> but instead, you just, oh, I have a relationship there. I'm just going to go find a new woman on howtocheatonyourspouse.com. Before I met Jessica, my unhealthy way of coping was to meet someone online twice a year, shag them for a few weeks, then cut it off. <sighs> I'd spend the next six months trying to resist the website, but it always crack. Okay. You y'all know how I talk about men with addictions. Um, and those are usually rooted in so many things. But escapism and blah blah blah. Don't mess with men with addiction. This is another way that men escapism. Men use escapism to literally avoid dealing with any of their internal world, right? Like adults should. They're just like, I don't know. I don't feel good. Cheatonmywife.com, there we go, and then they resist and resist and resist. Like, come on! Did it ever occur to you that maybe you need to talk to someone about this? Like, it's one thing when men have like their own little, like their addictions and their outlets for their vices and, and, and you know, all that stuff, because we always pay the price for their vices. You all know I say that all the time. But when men use women as the actual vice, which a lot of men do, I don't like you. I don't like you. Go hit the bottle instead of the After I left my marriage, I wasn't sure as I would be able to. I was able to commit to Jessica. I didn't want to repeat my pattern of being the affair guy. Well, that's I'm so, I'm so tired of this man already. Okay, we can get through this. So he's so afraid he's going to cheat on Jessica. 
she had her doubts too. Well, she should. We were good at having secret schmegs, but would we be good at doing, going to Tesco together? Okay, British reference, I gotta look up, hold on. Okay, Tesco is a supermarket. <laughs> Okay, I have a lot of British friends uh, here in France. Well, I like a few. And all the time, I'm like, what are you talking about? We have very different cultural references, obviously, but we also like use so many words where I'm like, what is the crack? What's the crack? And I, th and I was like, oh, okay. It's like having fun and all these other, anyway. It's interesting, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, I'm, I'm it's funny. I'm, I literally have my <laughs> online dictionary right next to me on the computer so I can Google this stuff. So you're good at having secret schmegs, but could you go to the supermarket together or run a house? Starting out as an affair facilitates a ruthless sort of honesty. Ah, what? Okay, well, let me just hear him out. Your partner already knows the worst thing you've ever done. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like you've done worse. So it's easier to say the unsayable. Okay, you had an affair, but like, does she know that you have an affair twice a year with women and then ghost them? Because <laughs> that's worse than just her knowing that you're cheating. We had a lot of frank conversations about whether we should attempt a real relationship. Okay, affair partner lady, Jessica. The fact that this man is in his 60s, he's like, crap. I can't just keep cheating all the time. I gotta, I gotta settle down with a woman who will take care of me. You know, they always want a nurse or a purse. So Jessica, you are gonna be a hospice wife. To give credit to uh, uh, Candace Kelly, my mutual who made that uh, very popular. My favorite terms ever. Your hospice wife soon, Jessica. Run! I'm actually curious how old Jessica is. Anyway, love has crept up slowly on us. Mm, isn't love though? But that has made our connection deeper. Extreme honesty remains the, the cornerstone of our partnership. <laughs> okay, but literally y'all both started out lying to the people you're married to. So honesty with each other, but okay. We discuss friends of ours who've had affair and regularly ask one another whether all our needs are being met. Okay, like, who are y'all hanging out with? What? I guess birds of a feather, eh? You know what, that proves a point I've said before. Maybe I should make a whole video on this. Be very careful who your partner is hanging out with. Those people do rub off on them and they normalize terrible behavior. So I absolutely judge my husband by the men he keeps company with. And I love all of them and they're all in healthy relationship. But if I did not like one of them and didn't trust one of them, you better believe I'd be talking to him about it and be like, what's wrong with you? Why do you like this man? Anyway, that's another video. So far, the answer about whether our needs will be met has been yes. Why is that in quotes? But I think we could be truthful about it if we, if we were, if the answer were ever no. Okay. What? Why are you talking so weird now? Okay. Uh, that, I don't know. That's it. That's all. That's all he has to say. Now we're going to hear from Jessica. Okay. She's 58. I thought maybe she's going to be like 25. So, but still, Jessica, you should, you should date younger. You're going to take care of this little cheater. So let's read Jessica's story, okay? I know you probably hate her because she cheated with a married man and that she is accountable for that. I, that is not, I like, I'm not excusing that part. The fact that she knows he was married, uh, that, okay. So I just want to be very clear here. A lot of women end up having affairs with men. Uh, and these men lie about being married. Those women I do not hold accountable for uh, getting involved with someone that they didn't know was in, in a relationship. Although I do hold them accountable for getting out of that relationship as soon as possible once you realize this man is lying. We all know that we're all working through all of our crap. Sometimes we stay with men who are trapped uh, because we you know we get uh, clementines and limerence and uh, whatever anyway. Uh, but okay, so Jessica. You knew he was married. Um, you were cheating, but the, the fact that you knew he was married, that is something I do not give you any grace for. So Jessica, I decided to have an affair because I wanted a bit of pleasure that was just for me. Okay, guessing her husband's trap. My ex-husband was very controlling. Here we go, see what I mean? So again, Jessica, you're still responsible for hooking up with a married man that you knew was married, but th uh, this does not surprise me. This is exactly what I was expecting. I'm not saying this is always the reason why women are cheating. I am saying that a lot of times women cheat 
with awful controlling men as a way to like get out, please don't do that because you end up with men like this dude. Please, if you're gonna leave a man, just leave him and don't date for a while. Jessica, you need to heal some stuff. He eroded my sense of self and bound me to him through fear, influencing what I wore and who I saw. Okay, you're in an abusive relationship. That's what that is. I don't know if you realize that. I also found it very difficult to say no to saying, okay, so he was graping you too. All this checks out. My decision to have an affair was an act of rebellion and I actually support this decision. Sometimes women don't realize how trapped they are until they have something go, but don't date this man. I mulled it over for months before I, act, I activated my online dating profi profile. I finally pushed the button so I would stake a claim to a bit of pleasure that was just for me. And I actually, I do, I actually am very proud of her for this, but why did you hook up with a man who was like, could you just go out on Tinder? I don't know. Maybe she was afraid she would meet, someone would find out she was, I don't know, whatever. I would still like, Jessica, decenter men, please, God. Meeting Barat was liberating. The man was passionate. There was no heavy, painful emotion between us. I get this. This is why I went on my little Tinder bender. This is why I didn't hook up with, this is why I didn't want to date men for a while after getting out of an abusive relationship. I just wanted to get my O back. I wanted to, um, it was, it was a very healing thing. Again, please, every time I talk about this, some women are like, that's dangerous, I do Okay, I'm not saying other women to do. I do understand why getting, um, just hooking up with it, with men uh, in a very controlled environment where there's no way you can date them. I did this by only hooking up with men uh, that did not live in my city. Um, again, very dangerous game, but no more dangerous than marrying a man or dating a man. <laughs> I mean, come on. They all could us. So she just wanted to have something that didn't have painful emotions. She wanted an O that was an, 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 an connection with another person in a physical level of uh, intimacy that did not have all this negative stuff tied to it that her husband was uh, torturing her with, right? Understandable. In bed, I held a part of myself aloof from Barat. Okay, I've done that. And I enjoyed this sense of detachment. Oh, well, that's all I did until I uh, got married, more or less. Um, uh, detached, disassociated magazine. Yeah, I can relate to that. Because it was the opposite of how I swallowed up, how swallowed up I felt by my husband. But sometimes with Barat, I felt as if I was play acting the part of the sexy mistress who wore nimbleless bras and crotchless sneakers. Okay, here, this is why y'all put this title? Okay, well, it's clickbaity, so I guess they're doing their job, but. Max was in the bland hotel rooms was exciting, but the excitements sometimes felt a bit cheap. Oh, I can know that. I remember having like a crazy hookup. Y'all, I have hooked, I, you know, I've hooked up in, on the ground in the woods here in France. It was exciting, but it was like, well, I'm kind of cold. I have hooked up in cheap motel rooms with like random strangers and it was exciting, but it was like, oh my God, did someone die in this room? Like it's exciting, but at a certain point you're like, this, <laughs> this excitement actually feels disgusting. So there's a line. I've done lots of crazy things. I can relate to this so much, but not the married man part. I left my husband a year after meeting Barat. The affair helped me end my marriage. Okay, see, I understand that again. I don't know, maybe you did, her, did his ex-wife a favor. At least uh, he left her so that so she didn't, you know, unalive her slowly through her nervous system, but you're in danger now, Jessica. Because it gave me a taste of autonomy, but I had no intention of converting what I had with Barat. Oh, here we go. See, this is why you should not date when you get out of relationships. I really want women, if you get out of terrible relationships, I know it seems like a great idea to like have a man kind of pull you out of it, but then you end up dating this hobo trash. I don't know if he's a hobo. In my mind, all men are like hobo shaggy's rules on some, they're on that spectrum. Because even if they have money, they still exploit the crap out of women's labor. Anyway, when Barat left his wife, I worried about his life as a serial shagger. You should, Ugh, you should. Part of what persuaded me to give it, it a go was his total transparency. Oh, don't, don't. Don't let men being honest be like a green flag because literally they will be honest with you and then be like, well, you knew who you got. When he, go when he cheats on her, he's going to be like, why are you surprised? You knew exactly who you got with. I literally cheated on my wife. I told you that I, da, la, 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 la. Men being this honest is actually them priming you to accept their crappy behavior labor. He went to therapy. Finally. <sighs> he went to therapy and told me about 
previous flings in such a gory detail that I was convinced he had nothing to hide. Okay, see? Seriously, this actually, literally, th okay, th this, is, this is what men do. They're like, okay, I've done all this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And see, I'm a nice guy because if I wasn't a nice guy, I wouldn't have told you. Y'all remember in Revolutionary Road, that breakdown I did, the second half of it? That's exactly what Frank did. Hey, well, what's her butt? April, I had an affair and I'm telling you about it now. Just so you know, don't mess up. Don't mess around with me because I'm an affair guy and you don't want to push me to have an affair. Do you? It's a form of control, them telling you all this stuff. That's what this is. It is not like, look, I'm just so transparent. I want you to know who I am. No, they're literally smoothing out the way, laying the foundation to do the exact same thing to you. And then when you're like, what? They're like, I told you who I was. What, what are you surprised? The first time he said, I love you, my initial self-protective reaction was to blurt out, I don't love you. That's your intuition. Jessica! You don't love him. This is limerence. This is li you didn't love him. This was a good thing that you said, I don't love you. But see, this is how women gaslight themselves. They're like, you know, I was just afraid of losing myself. And it was a self-protective mechanism, you know, but like, no, that, you're being honest. You don't love him. See, uh, I swear to God, we really know the truth. We know the truth. It's deep inside of us. We just have our trauma responses and our egos and our nervous system and all kinds of things being like, ah! and that quiet voice that's never wrong, that intuition is like, hey, maybe you don't love him, right? And then you're, you say it, and then all the other voices like, no, 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 it's okay, you actually do it. You're just afraid of commitment and la, 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 la. I'm telling y'all, the way that we gaslight ourselves, because see, she's like, she's right on the money here. I don't love you. You don't. I was fearful of losing myself in another relationship, but I did love him. No, you didn't. See, do you see how we have all these voices in our head, right? Like, and they all think that they're doing the right thing, right? Like I literally justified staying with that ex, the abusive one, because before I had commitment issues. So I was like, Melanie, don't you, you, don't, you know, you have commitment issues. You know, this is like, you don't want to be your old self. So you should stay with this man who raped you, you're terrified of, and who literally a financial, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, but you don't want to come in it, you know? All these little voices, they're trying to protect us. If you don't know what I'm talking about, IFS therapy is very helpful to really help like understand why you're like your own worst enemy sometimes. Because all these voices, like all these things are trying to look out for us. But a lot of times they literally are setting us up for like more pain. Uh, my therapist calls it the ironic protector. They're like, I'll protect you. So you actually do. Usually they, they're, they're trying to protect us and they literally set us up, set us down the path of like crazy town. One unexpected consequence of making our relationship official is that the trend has actually gotten, got better. Well, yeah, I would hope so. I would hope you're spending more than five minutes in the woods on the ground or, um, you know, four times in a nasty hotel room. I would hope that you think the schmegs is better because this better be taken care of now. And you need more than five minutes to take care of that. I bring my whole self to the bedroom now. It's more sensual. Oh my God, Jessica, I am so worried about you. I've hung up my crotchless knickers and that's a relief. Ugh. That's the ending? Uh, yeah, that, oh my God. That's the ending, folks. <laughs> the moral of the story is, if you're in an abusive relationship, uh, cheat with another awful person, and then you will wear underwear that doesn't have holes in it. And then um, you'll be abused again. Like, oh God, what a terrible story. Jessica, if you're out there and you happen to watch my channel, I doubt you do, please get out. So again, I am not giving Jessica a pass for being on a website for married people. But what I am saying, back to my original point, she literally used cheating on her husband to get out of prison, a prison of his making. And I'm glad she got out. But now because she used men to get out, instead of relying on her community and women and really tapping out for a while now she's literally repeating the same freaking cycle and why did he cheat
What's the lesson here? Because he's an entitled king baby prick under patriarchy who thinks that he should just be able to do whatever he wants to do and will probably die manipulating women. And I hope, Jessica, you are not his hospice wife because um, you're going to die before him. Watch out!